Welcome to my channel, YouTube, where I'm playing a different game today. Some D-Rail Valley. And I'm in Harbor Town. About to go get a train together. We're going to run to Steel Mill. That's my plan. And I'm running the steam engine. I don't know. Something different. Something like Final Fantasy. Um, just a little, little bit different. I might throw one of these up every now and then. It's a pretty fun little simulator. A little bit different. It's supposed to be a VR simulator, but it's not. I'm not playing it like that. I play it normal. Keyboard, mouse. And it works fine for me. <laughs> Aha! Just turn my steam engine on the... So the first things first is we need to go and find a job. Because unlike most simulators, you actually have a real job you can do and earn money. See, I have a wallet. $39,000. Definitely makes it different because you don't want to tear stuff up. I know it's called D-Rail Valley, but that's like the last thing you want to do, because it's expensive to fix your bobos. The only silly thing is a little teleportation thing that you can do. Now, I already threw all the crappy jobs away, because everything else is the steel mill. And this locomotive is okay thinking of doing this one it's a lot of weight 870 ton I could do it uh so you can start the job but you have 29 minutes to complete the job so the best practice oh my goodness the best practice is to go and collect your train cars and get everything ready so that way when you start the job you can just scoot. The only bad thing is you have to go and find them because you don't know where they're at. And this is a pretty big city, a pretty big rail area. That's the stuff I brought in. Are you mine? 41? Nope. So I'm looking at the the job number, HBFH, which is uh, Harbor Town to whatever FH is. I don't know. Freight Hall, I guess. This is the passenger area. And these little blue stores are, well, stores. <laughs> train car, train car, train car. That might be me. 77. Yep. Cool, so that's where I'm going. And get this tran together and we'll run. Now you have a radio thing that you can also flip switches, but I think it's more satisfying if you just do it by hand like you're supposed to. Yeah. Now if I'm cruising, I'm not piddling in the yard. I'll use that. My phone just keeps going off. Now this is like a new thing that I've noticed where the tender just keeps bopping. 
Not sure why I'd do that. Ah, there we go. It's like, boom. Boom. Huh. Oops, I fell off. So, get your world map here. So, I am here in the blue. Now, I'm going to get these cars that are going to Steel Mill right here. If you're too heavy, and this thing's only rated for like a thousand, and I had roughly that, I got stuck right in this curve. So I just, I had two cuts. I was probably more than the 860 I'm about to try. But I had to cut my train in half, take one half to the top, and come all the way back down and grab my second half and pull it up and then put it back together. I looked like a rookie. Of course, whenever I first started playing this game, you could pull way over these uh, locomotives weight limits except for the little switcher engine is a piece of crap uh, I recommend not ever using it after you get enough money to buy the license for the steam engine or if you save up enough money to get the uh, DE6 or whatever it's called So these are the hook and buffer, or hook and chain, which have buffers. It's not like the American style or whatever, automatic. You have to go in the middle and throw your chain over your hook, tighten the middle chain, cut your air in, so it's your air gauge, that's your reservoir, so that's how much air the locomotive has in general, and that's how much your brake pipe is. So we're charging the system now. It's riveting. We're gonna throw some coal. Gonna get our fire going. Boiler pressure is pretty low. Fire temperature is fine. It's going up. Water. We're full. Speedometer is your directional wheel. It's pretty crappy. I'm going to need way more than that. So we're just going to pull it oh so gently. Until we start getting some more pressure. See, this is like your over steam dump. I guess my fire was so low. Sand. Sand gauge tells you how much you got. Whistle. Let's get it going real good and we'll shut the steam down. So everything's kilometers per hour. That opens up something that makes your fire get hotter. Before you know it, I'll have this joker all the way up to 1200. That's my goal anyways. So we gotta get, oop, not the world map. Gotta get your job ready, so I'm about to run and activate it and we'll be going against the clock. Now the bad thing is when you open that draft vent, it really burns your coal faster. There it is. So 
So we'll activate it. E10, that's where I got my train from. It's all those gondolas. They're going to Steel Mill B3I for incoming. Let's run a train, boys. And girls. Girls can like trains, too. My wife doesn't so much. So all the switches stay aligned from the last that you used them. Unless they do like an update that changes stuff. Uh, make sure my brakes are off. I think we can hit that switch at about 40 kilo kilometers. Kilometers. I don't know. Ooh. I'd say we're doing pretty good. We got our steam back up. We're really going to be opening this bad boy up. So I'm going to come off the handle a little bit. I hate to do it. Fairly long. Pretty heavy for this train. It's 860 something tons. Which I think is a little bit silly because 870. Real life train tonnage. That, that ain't crap. Here in a minute, I'm about to open her up, though. Let's do it. Oh, crap. I left it open. So it'll just continuously run, and you'll run out of water. If you leave that open. Especially if you leave it open, like, a lot. We're holding pretty good. So I use my mouse wheel to toggle all my lit up stuff. Bad thing is, is that you can accidentally hit a, I hit this and turn my sand on a lot. Sand's not super cheap to rebuy. Holding some good speed. The steepest part. It's like right there. I must have been a good bit heavier. Um, got a lot more steam. It's the last time I pulled this hill. Wasn't great. Uh, we're losing some speed here, but we'll make it. I still have plenty steam. Oh, yeah. This ain't nothing. Just trying to sell myself short. I must have just not done a real good job. That's a pretty steep spot, though. So we'll pull this. So my understanding is that you leave this door closed in a tunnel, or it'll blow fire and ash all over you. I don't know. Never run a steam engine in real life. Or even in a simulator. This is like my first real exposure. I've run some silliness on train simulator. But is it really like trying to run? I don't know what that does. Oh, yeah. Check it, 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 check it. Oh, yeah, we're doing. 
exquisite. We pulled the toughest part. So now we just gotta come up for the rest of the mountain. And then we're gonna be cruising. I'll open her up at the top. Boop. Ah, so I still have to pull this mountain. As soon as you come out of this tunnel, this is pretty flat and you can open it up. Uh, start grabbing air about here. Slow it down to about 60. Go around here. Cruise. Go out of downhill. Go into uh, B3. That'll be all she wrote. come off the throttle a hair so we got a lot of rail grinding rail squealing and all I need okay we're going pretty fast uphill the hill here really isn't that isn't that great that's the second time I've done that just left it wide open I got distracted at how noisy it was going around that curve dump some steam. I don't know if it really matters because if you watch it it'll go down and then it goes back down. Because there's a safety valve on these engines keeps it from doing that anyways. Open up some more steam. It's still good. We're gonna keep it open. We're gonna burn the mess out of some coal. What I want to do is get the caboose. Have the caboose on here. The bad thing is switching it and keeping it on your train at all times. But it'll be worth it. Because it'll be cool. I just need this game to be two players so I can play with somebody else. Oh boy. Try to keep it on 40 around here. It's not hard to do going up hill, going downhill. Just use that automatic. Which is there. Automatic. Independent. Light engine, use that. It's nothing that irks me more than watching someone play a simulator. And they have two locomotives and they're using the automatic to stop and slow. When they came out of Train Sim World, I watched people play it, and like the beginning tutorial stuff, that's what they show. They have A and Engine, and they'll tell you to use Automatic. So this switch should be good, because I don't ever go right. I've just been running the same train. It's kind of a pain. So, coal service is this dark circle. There's a coal service, there's a coal service. No other places have it except for... Iron ore, iron ore, coal mine. I wish it was all over the place because I'd like to pull different freights with the steam engine. I think that'd be fun. Uh, we're about to open. So remember why I said you're not supposed to open this in the tunnel? I'm not very good at remembering that. So we'll wait for our train to get over the switch. <clears throat> We're really gonna open her up and let her walk. Whoop. The wheel slip. Oh yeah, we're about to start cruising. Good for 80. Oh, 
Oh yeah. After we get up to speed, I'm gonna shut the fire down some. I might be going too fast. She's squalling. I don't think I've ever... I usually open it up about here. But it says it's good for 80. We're going to see how fast we can get her to go. I don't like that 70, though. Oh, we're going pretty quick. We're stuck to the rails. Let's do it. This kind of makes me wish that we had like a passenger service on this that was active. I think they're working on it. They got cars. So I can make one. Made it to a hundred. And this is a pretty heavy cut. So we're going to have to start slowing it down. Up down to 90. Getting down to 80. Don't need as much coal. We're not going to be under steam. Not sure why it says 50 there. I don't think we need to be going that slow. You just kind of have to run. Figure out what you want to do. My air is still releasing, so. Kind of have to watch it, because if you set it, it'll set fast. You know, it'll say, oh, well, that's that. But you have to actually uh, account for your train cars to actually set, because the air pressure on the head end and the rear end aren't the same, and it takes a second for it to equalize, and then for the everything else to settle and set my eyeball itches we almost at the end of this run look 120 we're not gonna go that fast I've run the super fast bit <laughs> might actually set a minimum set as we go down this hill here. Oh yeah, we're holding well. Actually, we might still be speeding up. I bet that's more satisfying to do in VR. I got some more downhill coming up. And we're not really going any faster. So this is about the only time is when I'm coming into yards or lining up for a junction. Except for only go to the same two cities because it's way cheaper to do the service at a station instead of paying the computer to do it. Actually, I wanted to keep that. <laughs> so I'm trying to think. So we're going to come to the steel mill and we're going to go right. It's 
says 30, but that's kind of bull hooey. And then it's got a bell for when you're starting to run out of coal. I think it's silly. And I have a good bit of air set. And as I can see, it's set to the left. It's because earlier when I come out with that last train. And you can run through switches on here. It's not that. Dadgummit, it. it's not that big of a deal. If I do make switches, you can run through. Oh, so one, two. Yeah. So one, two, and then three. Actually, I might be lined up for three. So I think that's actually the last track I came in. That works out pretty good. Yeah, look at that. I can usually make this run with a few minutes to spare. It helps to go super fast in that one area. Actually, I felt like I did that one pretty, pretty good. Maybe my next video, I'll do a super heavy one and I'll try to run two steam engines. The bad thing is you'd have to run both of them. So I'd have to jump out, get on that one. Drag these brakes. <clears throat> Drag it down. There we go. We'll uncouple it. I like how when you watch people, they'll close both valves and undo that. I don't know if you've ever unhooked an air hose in between two train cars with 90 pounds of a air pressure on it, but it will smack you right in the face, break your jaw, or come close and scare the piss out of you. All right, and then you turn it in. 18 minutes. Super fast. Well done. No damage. Make that money. So typically what I do is I take my steam engine. Whoop, take it to the maintenance. Fill it full of coal and water because you burn through a lot on a run. Usually you can't go. Like I couldn't leave here and go somewhere. Pick up a train and come back and still have water and coal. Coal, maybe. The water. I wish there was at least water sold at every city. But normally I'd pick up another rail go back to the harbor. Until I make enough money I can buy the uh, DE6. Hopefully they make it to where it's multiple unit pretty soon. Because <clears throat> then you could pull some monsters. Ugh. Wanting you. Won't do that. 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 That's what I just brought in. Won't do that. And I'll just pick a couple of them. 740 ton. I'll probably take this one. But that's what I do. Hopefully you enjoyed that. Like I said, I might do some silly stuff on here. Like grab another steam engine and run two up the mountain with something super heavy. I don't think there are too many uh, YouTube videos on here doing silly things. So we'll see how we do it. That was kind of fun. I like running trains on here. It makes some money. And 
you know, buy new. You know, it, it's got progress. It actually has like <laughs> gaminess to it, and it's actually kind of fun and entertaining. Versus like other simulators where there's not really any progress. Yeah, it's fun. And if you liked it, like, comment, subscribe. I probably won't do too many of these. I'll just continue playing Final Fantasy VII. And then we'll figure out... I'll figure out stuff. But we'll throw down on this every now and then. Thanks for watching. Peace.